Hello everyone! Do you know what is comical? Do you know what is it like? No? It's okay, let's learn about it! But before that, let's watch a story about the girl named Sarah. This is Sarah. She is a very cheerful girl and always loves to play with her friends. She loves doing a lot of activities such as playing sports and games. However, one day when she woke up from her sleep, she suddenly experienced a few discomforts such as runny nose, watery eyes, and also headache. After she told her mother about the discomfort she felt, they went to the doctor. And after the checkup, the doctor told her that she has a common cold. So, do you guys know about common cold? No? Let's continue to watch to find out. Common cold is a disease that happens due to the infection of the upper respiratory system which is caused by different types of viruses. Of transmission is through the virus infected airborne droplets. How about the causes of the common cold? Common cold can be caused by many types of viruses. However, rhinovirus is the most commonly known cause for common cold. A person can get the virus through direct or indirect contact with the secretion from the person who already has the common cold. Other than that, it can also be transmitted through hand-to-hand -hand contact and also the touching or sharing virus-infected objects. It can also be infected through the inhalation of the virus-infected droplets from sneeze, cough, and also speech of the person who has common cold. Wait. Do you know how to diagnose common cold? Let me tell you. It is usually diagnosed based on the signs and symptoms. Other than that, it can also be diagnosed by running a few tests such as chest x-ray just in case your doctor suspects a bacterial infection. Now that we already know about the causes and the diagnosis, what about the risk factor? Who are the people that is most likely to get common cold? The risk factor includes age, people with weakened immune system, and also smoker. factor is the time of the year, such as during fall season, winter season, or rainy season, and also the extent of exposure of a person towards a virus. For example, if you are in a crowded place, the risk of encountering the virus is higher than people who are not in a crowded place. Remember the age risk factor that I mentioned just now? Do you know that children who are younger than 6 years old has the highest risk of being infected from common cold? Yes, they are. It is because their immune system is not fully mature and developed yet. Hence, the ability to fight the infection is lower in comparison to people who has a fully matured immune system. Wondering about the signs and symptoms of the common cold? Let's find out together. Patients with common cold commonly report that they have watery eyes, nasal stuffiness, sneezing, facial pain, sore throat, headaches, and chills. When they go to a clinic or hospital for a checkup, the clinician will observe some signs and symptoms to confirm the diagnosis. Cough, sputum, harshness, and nasal obstruction will be observed. What are the differences between common cold, flu, and COVID-19? Aha! Common cold and flu are quite the same and have simpler symptoms. Thus, it can be difficult to differentiate them. In general, flu is worse than the common cold and symptoms are more intense, while cold are usually milder than flu. People with colds are more likely to have runny or stuffy nose and do not result in serious health problems. Whereas for both COVID-19 and the common cold, they are caused by viruses. COVID-19 is caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus, while the common cold is most often caused by rhinovirus. These viruses spread in similar ways and cause many of the same signs and symptoms. Here are some differences in symptoms between common cold, flu, and COVID-19 that can be observed. Hmm, can
Can we leave a comment cold untreated? No! Yup, that's true. An untreated common cold might develop into some health complications, especially in young children, older adults, and people with weakened immune system. So, what are the possible complications that might happen? Acute ear infection or otitis media is the most frequent complications of common cold in children. A cold can cause fluid buildup and congestion behind the eardrum. When bacteria or the cold virus infiltrates the usually air-filled space behind the eardrums, the result is an ear infection. Next is asthma attack. A cold is one of the most common triggers of asthma attack, especially in young children. The cold symptoms may last longer in people with asthma. Asthma symptoms such as wheezing or chest tightness may also worsen during a cold. Besides, sinusitis can also develop when a common cold persists and blocks your sinus. Block sinus tract bacteria or virus in the nasal mucus and results in sinus infection and inflammation. Other than that, a mere common cold might also develop into strep throat, bronchitis, bronchiolitis, and even pneumonia in the high risk group if left untreated. It sounds scary, right? It's okay, don't worry much. Let's find out how common cold is treated. The first line of treatment for the common cold and influenza is self-care and patience as you allow these viral illnesses to simply run their course. But there are cases in which you may need a medical evaluation and prescription medication to tame severe symptoms, prevent a worsening of your condition or avoid related complications. Suppressants, antihistamines, decongestants, and nasal steroids are prescription cold or flu medications that can help provide you some symptoms relief. While the main job of antivirals and antibiotics is to stop what's causing your illness in its tracks. As implied by its name, the common cold is very common. Abdel Nash once said, a family is a unit composed not only of children, but of men, women, an occasional animal, and the common cold. So, stay safe everyone!